are you cool cats and fine felines? It's Leah and Lynn. And today we are in Jonesboro, Arkansas at the Dean B. Ellis Library. And we are going to look at their little museum. So follow us. Lynn, what are we going to do? Get into the groove. That's right. Our new business cards. Get into the groove. We're awfully proud of them. Let's strategically place them around. Walk in, you're greeted with this American mastodon. Look at its long tusks. It's huge. Oh, her name is Mona. Yeah. Aww. Look at her feet. Those are some paws. I need to squish you. <laughs> wow. That humorous bone. Ooh, look. And we're right on the New Madrid earthquake. And the solar eclipse is coming and they're saying saying all the, the pool on this area is going to cause a major earthquake. We'll see. If it does, we're in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> Memphis right, is in trouble. Right in the, uh, the last time it hit in, in the 1800s, it, it caused the Mississippi River to flow backwards. Absolutely. And they said it didn't actually just flow backwards. The earth opened up, sucked. It sucked the river in. And then when the earth slammed back together, it caused it to flow it backwards. To That's flow a back. scary thought. That's some power. <laughs> Hal is hiding in our exhibits. When you find him, take a selfie with Hal. Share it to social media saying, I found Hal at ASU, at A State Museum. Show desk worker your post and win a button of your choosing. Ooh. Nice. Thanks, Hal. Spike the alligator. That's so cool. Look at his eye. He's got doll's eyes. Yes. <gasps> the albinos. I remember coming here when I was a little girl. I loved this place. Look at the little mole. Albino species. Little albino possum. Shout out to Jacob Carpetbagger. Here's your possum. <laughs> little squirrel. Look at the skunk. That's a deer. If you, if you saw an albino deer in the wild, how could you sh shoot it? I, I, I wouldn't be able to shoot any deer unless no. I was starving. But yeah. And how do you know that's a blue jay? Because it's... It looks at, look at it. It looks like a blue jay. It looks like a white white jay. Oh, look at the cute little meow. <gasps> look at kitty cat. Mm, looks like crab. Oh, yeah. What? I wonder, meow. I wonder if he says. Oh, he like does. Crab. Our kitty cat says. Oh, look at that little. <gasps> That's so cute. He's frolicking. Look at that little fox. Look at that little fox. He's precious. Well, he is. I want one. There's his little friend. His little baby friend. See, I couldn't shoot that deer either, unless I was just starving. They're so cute. And look at that cute little bear. I know it'd kill me, but... <gasps> look at the majestic bald eagle. I salute you, sir. <sighs> wow. Ooh, a vulture. Look at that big bad raven or yeah. falcon, whatever he is. That's awesome. Wow. I love the dioramas. They're so neat. Those are some massive birds that would pick you apart painfully. Only after you were dead. I don't think, I mean, Man, if you were <laughs> walking around somewhere where you didn't need to be making a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> and all that does. We got this whole place to ourselves. Look at this. We are all alone. It's spring break here at this college. So yeah, everybody's going home. Water, the water fowl. Ooh, owls. The moonlight, moonlight 
not explorers. Really cool Look, Look at that. Look at him. <clears throat> Look at his talons. Look at that little itty bitty. He had his little, little baby friend. Oh, little baby friend. Screech owl. Look at that one with the little feathers. So cute. Uh, this is um, all the artifacts that were found in the Delta region, all the pots and pottery, and it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Ooh, Masters of Mastodon. Look at the bone. That is crazy. Yeah, and we just talked to one of the people here, and, and she said that all this stuff was found in the Delta region um, and uh, some in western Arkansas, but mostly around here. Okay, this is the Old Town exhibit. Like, it has, um... Look at the little thimble co collection on the wall. Wow, that's like a little oasis, it's a saloon station. This is what a, a little living room would look at, look like. Would it, that little baby thimble, do you see yeah. it? The small, what is it, the smallest thimble in the world? <laughs> can't even oh. see. Oh, you can barely see it. <laughs> you can't. That's funny. It looks like a, it looks like a BB. <laughs> Those little scissors. Dude, I have some of those scissors. Little swan scissors. Yeah, little swan scissors. Look at all the peel boxes. That is so neat. I love pillboxes. Oh, they're they're awesome. so decorative. And Look at that iridescent with that pearl, like iridescent. Oh, like I see like that. Box. That's beautiful. Living off the land. Oh, there's the. All the old machinery. It's pretty neat. Look at all the old farm tools. It looks like you could just get tetanus by walking in there. <laughs> and they had to work on those every day. <laughs> every. What is this? A fireless cooker. What is a fireless cooker? This device slow cooked food for field workers by means of preheated soap stones placed in the bottom of the whales. Well, that's cool. Look at the little buggy. Can you imagine having travel? across country on that. That'd be a bumpy ride. It'd take six months to get from Memphis to Las Vegas. In a half your family would get tuberculosis on the way there. <laughs> That's terrible. And when you got there, you'd be a totally different cannibalistic person. <laughs> Look at all the shells. <laughs> That's so neat. And the little buttons made out of shells. All the little clasps and buttons. Look at that old fishing reel. Wow. That's crazy. What is this? Oh, look at the canoe. It's a cypress dugout canoe. They dug that out of a cypress tree. But those wow. trees, most of the time, those trees grow in the river. Oh, yeah. In the, or the, not the river, the lake. The lakes. Look at the irons. Wow. Someone finally got tired of uh, cutting green beans, so they came up with their green bean slicer. <laughs> Look at the toaster. Wow. Everything used to be so dangerous. I know. <laughs> yeah. You see someone all crippled and gimped up. And, what happened to you? Oh, I was making some toast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way they have this set up. This is really neat. You want to have a seat, Lynn? Wow. Absolutely. Oh. Is it comfortable? No, yeah, that probably didn't all. happen. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's well, not I mean, you know, uh -uh. if you're... It's fancy. Busy 
city situation and you're tired and everyone else is standing up, I can see it was probably like musical chairs. Yeah. Oh, look at the little soda fountain, little pharmacy. You go in there and get some lithium and some Coca-Cola. I love the old cash register. It's beautiful. You got a cash a check, you got to come to the bank. Everything used to be so much fancier. Oh, Bono Mercantile Bank, 1920. Oh, those printing are printing press. Presses. That's so cool. That's really, really neat. Look, there's the old thing. That big, heavy thing they wrote that. With the ink. Mm -hmm. Wolves up. Oh, the doctor's yeah. office. Oh, yeah, look at these torture devices. <laughs> no, actually, these are just the eye. They probably, those are. Oh, this is the Optimus. Yeah, they, uh, they, op uh, I wonder if those are optometrists. Optometrists. I was like, Optimus, that's not right. Yeah, uh, so I wonder if those are like lobotomy tools. No, Are you sure? they're surgical. They're scalpels, it looks like, but look at the little glass eyes. Most people think glass eyes are round, but they're not. They're flat. When I used to embalm people, sometimes we get people with glass eyes, and I'd have to put them in, and they are flat. You know what? They're pretty detailed, too. Oh, a little test lens kit. That's cool. Next door, got the doctor's office. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a, what is that? That's probably the way I, An x-ray machine way, yeah, or something? that's probably the waiting room. That's where they bring you the first time. They weigh you. You'll know, probably take your blood pressure, your x-ray or something. I don't know. I'm just saying. I, I, that looks like it. They yeah. give you cancer. And then, then you come, oh, oh wait, no, that is just yeah. the doctor's. So then this is the dentist office. Yeah, this is the torture chamber. Yeah, this chamber. is where the real torture goes on. <laughs> Oh, there's a little trout on the wall, though. Well, I'll be... <laughs> I'll be by Look the, at the fake teeth over there. By the time some people left here, they never let, they never ate trout again. Oh, oh, the barber. The barber. Yeah, there we go. Shave and a haircut. Meow, meow. Not for me. Look at that old curling iron. Oh, my. Plug that in and catch on fire. What is that? Oh, it's to have a perm. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. Dude. The woman with the hair, that is Martha Matilda Harper. Wow. She established the Harper Hair Parlor in 1891. And her franchise was the model for the modern salon. But that is crazy. You see that woman over there with all those wires attached to her head. She's getting a little perm. That is crazy. I have never seen one of those. Have you? No. I had no idea. I wonder if it still smelled as bad as it does now when you get a perm. A little general store. Got all your necessities, salt, flour, sugar, hit your land. A little accordion. All those little cameras. Look how art deco they are. They're so pretty. Oh, yes. They're beautiful. Yeah. I love that. Oh, wow. Those, like, I do remember that. I wish we still had those. Look at those watches down there and that little pistol. Those are gorgeous. That's... Oh, look at all the early stuff. Oh, wow. All the little pins and rings. This is beautiful. And the cameos. So neat. Do they have crystal bowl? That is beautiful. 
look up the military section. <gasps> wow. Landmine. That rifle with that wow. giant bayonet. Wow. With the samurai sword. Uh huh. They're huge! Oh my gosh! Those are 50 cows. Look at the an RPG. Oh yeah, that's a that's a that's a rocket propelled one of those. Wow! Look at Ooh, that! A flare, flare gun. <laughs> Another bayonet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Buffalo coat. Wow. I bet that's warm. How far along they take up the whole yeah, box. Rifle, and then they, got, they have a look at that bayonet. That's a that's dagger, crazy. That bayonet is. Look at this little bitty four shot. Oh, pistol. little baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little it shoots four thirty two. A little canteen. At one time. Huge. So is that what they would like, like what they pack them yeah. with? Oh look at the little glasses. That little iron skillet. That's the least little Fly. thing. A little oh, bullet bet, mold. I bet Paul loves those cannonballs, doesn't he? I'm sure wish, he does. I wish we could get him. Wheel from a Confederate ammunition cart, P Ridge. Huh. Interesting. Look oh. at the drum. Oh, I this is a little glasses and shoes uh -huh. worth. That's, wow, that's, cool. that's really neat. The Confederate money. Look at the tin types. I, I have a little post postpartum tin type of a baby. They're just really, really neat. Dress up area. Then you want to dress up. Little overalls. I don't think you'll wear fit in those. You stole Howdy, my story. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my story. <laughs> you little vest and your little hat. <laughs> <laughs> See, I need a dress though. This this really yeah, wouldn't work. It's all about <laughs> immediately had to put it on. Well, you do. <laughs> the little Amish girl. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's a little Amish lad, the, the, the fair Amish lady. <laughs> Amish wouldn't wear that, it was too flashy. <laughs> okay, thanks for following us on this little tour of the Dean B. Ellis Library Museum exhibits. So, Lynn, what do you think our viewers should do? If you liked the video, you should hit that like button. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to Atomic Hive. And you can hit that notification bell for us. So you'll be up uh, notified when we upload new videos. That's right. On and the weekends. Yeah, we usually do every weekend. So until then, stay groovy. And meowy. And meowy.